Hey guys. So I have been spending an awful lot of time putting together a variety of looks and uh, even though spring is here, it's still a little cool and uh, it's going to be warming up soon and then maybe I'll get more in the mood to do some spring looks, but not necessarily because I don't know. I I feel like I'm just not as attracted to spring type colors in makeup anymore, like the pastels and the really light colors. I'm seeing a lot of people doing those kind of looks lately, and I don't know. I just feel like sometimes you should just ignore the seasons and do what feels what what you're comfortable with. Okay, so let us begin. I'm going to start by moisturizing my lips with Milani Moisture Lock Lip Treatment Oil. And, you know, whatever you have for a lip moisturizer, not really important. <laughs> it's not really important so much what you use as whether or not you moisturize your lips. Now, normally at this point, I would do the e.l.f. Uh, eye refresh, but I tried something different today, and after I put my face moisturizer on, I put a little bit of that night cream that I showed you guys in my haul video, and I put that where I would normally put the uh, e.l.f. eye refresh in my dark circles. So we'll see how the other products apply because I did that instead. So then that means that the next step is going to be the Femme Couture Skin Tone Corrector in Pink. And this is just uh, a corrector to try to correct my dark circles. I bought a, um, I bought a new pillow that is specifically for people with allergies. And uh, I've been sleeping a lot better, but I don't know that it's necessarily helping me with my sinus allergy issues, which is what I think that these circles are caused from. But something like that will probably take a long time before it makes any difference. But um, I'm sleeping better anyway. <laughs> um, so we'll see how that goes. All right, next I'm going to do my face primer, e.l.f. mineral primer in clear. Actually should have did that before I put on the corrector, but eh, I don't think it really makes that much difference because I don't usually put a lot of this on anyway. There it is right there. Um, and I don't usually put much at all in the uh, eye area. It's mostly just for my face. I was waiting to film this video earlier and I was procrastinating like crazy and that's not good because the longer I wait to film the more the light will change and when you film videos the best light you're gonna get is morning light so the longer you wait the less flattering the lighting is gonna be okay so the face primer is on, so next is going to be my foundation. And I've been using Tarte Double Duty Beauty Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation, and my shade is Light Neutral. And it looks like this. It's a full coverage moisturizing cream foundation. And I'm going to apply that with a Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. So I'm just going to Grab some of that on and blend it in. I 
I feel like um, there's a slight yellow tone to this foundation and it helps with my redness issue. Takes that down a little bit. Because the primer doesn't really help with that. The face primer, that just um, makes the foundation go on better, but it doesn't do anything in terms of the redness. But the yellow tone in the foundation definitely helps with the redness issue. So if you have a lot of pink or red in your skin like I do, you might want to consider getting a foundation that's a little bit warmer in tone because it does help with that. There's a fine line though between helping with that and going too far because if it's too warm it's not going to match your skin at all and it's just going to look crazy. Okay, that looks pretty even, I would say. Oh. One thing I've noticed about this brush by Real Techniques is the foundation has a tendency to settle in it. So even when you don't have any foundation left on your face to blend in, there's a little bit that goes inside, so if you miss a spot, you can just take the brush as is and run it over that spot and it will deposit some additional product without you actually adding any more to your face. So it's kind of cool like that. <laughs> okay, so foundation is on. So the next step we're going to do, by the way, you may have noticed that I'm not setting the corrector with the powder anymore. No more um, face setting powder, no more putting powder on the corrector. I just uh, really like skipping the powder step, but the, it's nice to be able to get away with that. When you get older, you just don't don't need those powders anymore. However, I am going to use powder to contour my face. I'm going to use a Real Techniques sculpting brush. This used to be part of a limited edition kit, but now they sell it separately. And I'm going to use the Anastasia. Contour Kit, light to medium, and my shade is Java. This one right here works rather nicely. So we'll just put a little bit of that on my brush. And we're going to go right like that. Then I turn the brush and blend it in. Okay. Next is going to be blush, and I hate to do this to you, but I'm going to use a limited edition blush because for some reason, all my plummy blushes are limited edition. I have like three of them, and every single one is limited edition, so have to use what I've got, and this ties into... Uh, some of the other products, I'll discuss that as I go along. I'm going to use a Real Techniques buffing brush. This comes in the face starter kit. But, you know, whatever you have for a plum type of blush. I'm going to go right above that contour. Oh, this, I didn't even tell you what this is. This is uh, MAC on a Mission, and this was from the Style Warriors collection long, long time ago. <laughs> um, okay, next I'm going to use my Real Techniques, um, what do they call this? Fan brush. <laughs> Obvious much? Let's go back to the Anastasia Contour Kit and use vanilla is that the name of that? better double check, I don't want to tell you the wrong color I haven't had this kit that long, yeah vanilla 
Once I've used it about 50 times, then I'll remember the names. <laughs> okay, this is a, a nice small fan brush. Um, fan brushes are not created equal, so take that into consideration that if you get a small one, it will fit in something like this that's kind of a small-ish pan. Pan, yeah. Okay, we're going to go right across the top of the cheekbones, right above where we put the blush. This is just a really subtle but pretty highlight. If I tilt my face, you can see it just gives you like a nice vanilla glow. <laughs> okay, so now we can move on to the eyes. I'm going to use a colored base. And let me tell you, this is such an old school way of doing makeup, but, and I kind of got away from doing this for a while, but I, I think that it's the best, the best way to do your eyes is to start with a colored base that is going to correspond with whatever shadows you do. Um, just enhances everything. And I'm going to use a, a MAC paint pot in Lay and Low. Or am I? <laughs> let's not. Let's not use a MAC paint pot today. Let's use something different for a change. Let's use a Maybelline color tattoo. And bad to the bronze because I think that a lot of you probably have this. Okay? So let's use this instead. So I'm running my finger in this. This product tends to be a little on the dry side over time. So in order to warm up the product, I'm just going to keep running my finger over it. And I'm going to apply that on the lid. And then go up into the crease. But try not to put any on the highlight area. Actually, I should have done my highlight first, but that's okay. I'm not going near enough to that area that it's going to make much difference. Yeah, these get pretty dry over time, and if they get too dry on you, like they're not old, they just get dry, you can get a bottle of glycerin from the drugstore and just mix in a couple of drops. Stir it up, and it'll bring it right back to the consistency that it was when you bought it. But if it gets old, just, you know, throw it out. Don't don't mess around with bacteria in your eye area. It's just not worth it. You don't want to get an eye infection or anything like that. But, you know, if you haven't had it that long, that's how you can uh, bring it back to life. I'm going to need to do that to this bad to the bronze one because it it is getting dry. I haven't had it that long either. Okay, let's do the highlight next. For my highlight today, I'm going to use Max Room. Whenever I'm reaching for a highlight color and I'm using Mac, and I'm not using all Mac today, by the way, I'm kind of skipping around using all different brands, but um, I always tend to go for Shroom. That's what it looks like in the pan, but that's what it looks like on. It's just, it's got this beautiful sheen to it. Okay, so let's put that right under the brow bone. Just going to use my finger. So that's just going to be a pretty shimmery beige highlight. Okay, what is next? Next is going to be a Buxom eyeshadow in Mink Magnet. Some of you may have gotten this at Sephora last year. It was a 100 point perk. Just one of like the cutest little eyeshadow ever. And so I'm going to incorporate that into the, the look today. So I'm going to put that over the bad to the bronze just on the lids. And I'm going to use my finger. This is going to coordinate really well with the uh, Maybelline color tattoo.
Gotta love these little freebies that you get from Sephora. So very, very similar, those two shadows, so why not use them together? And in my crease, I'm going to use a shadow from the Becca Ombre Nudes palette. And this is what that looks like. This palette, I like it a lot and I do reach for it quite a bit. However, I don't normally do a whole look with this palette, but I do use these shadows and incorporate them when I do looks uh, that involve other shadows because these are all matte and I don't know, I just don't, very rarely will I do a look that's all matte, but if I need a neutral matte shadow, usually one of these will work in well with what I'm doing. Today I'm going to use, let's see, I'm going to use the fourth one, so starting with, if this is number one, I'm going to use that one right there, and that's what I'm going to put in the crease. Texture of these shadows is really great, especially for crease work. So I'm going to use uh, this Real Techniques brush from the Eye Starter Kit. And I'm just kind of pressing my brush into that. And then we're going to go right in the crease. Yeah, I had a heck of a time getting this palette when I bought it. I, I've had this for about a year, I would say. But I had to go to a Sephora not close by in order to find it. Because um, at that time, uh, Becca wasn't sold at Ulta. Well, at least not my Ulta anyway. So the only place you could get Becca at that time was at Sephora. And none of the Sephora's near me were selling it, but I'm glad I got this. It is a nice palette. Okay, now I am going to take this Zoeva Luxe Pencil Brush and I'm going to take Makeup Geek Mesmerized. This is one of her foil eyeshadows. This is probably my favorite, my all-time favorite Makeup Geek shadow. I know I used this in another look that I did uh, a few weeks ago. So I'm going to take that Zoeva brush I'm going to put some of this mesmerized on it. And I'm going to drag a little bit of that right along the lower lash line. And I'm going to put a little bit right in this outside corner here. So that shadow is like a, a purpley taupe, 
I love, love, love purpley taupes, which is probably why <laughs> I love that particular eyeshadow so much. Okay, next I am going to take an eyeliner by Clinique. Okay, this is Intense Black Honey, Quick Liner for Eyes Intense by Clinique. And um, it's a deep plum shade. And I'm going to apply my eyeliner along the lower lash line. and along the tight line and I'm not gonna do false lashes today because I think I put a little too much glue on yesterday and um, I had a heck of a time getting it off and I was scrubbing my eyes with eye makeup remover so harshly that it irritated the heck out of my eyes. So I'm just going to give them a break today and not use the false lashes. So, um, oh, looks like I didn't bring my mascara out. Let me go get it. Okay, I'm going to use Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And if you want to, I know some of you said you have problems with this with transfer. If you want to avoid transfer, do your bottom lashes first. And that will help with that problem. Okay, one thing I've noticed about that mascara is you have to really layer a lot of it on. Um, when I had the little sample deluxe size, it wasn't like that, but now that I have the full size, it seems like you have to put more on for some reason. But um, I do like this. All right, so let's see what's next. Next is going to be brows. I don't know, do you guys really <laughs> want to see... To me, brows are kind of a boring step. Oh, where's my little thing to open palettes with? There it is. I have gone back to using my LA Colors I Heart Makeup Brow Palette. And um, I'm using the powders and the wax now. I kind of jump around and use different products. From this because whoa I don't use the pencil anymore I do like it but uh, it takes a while to I don't know pencils can be very time-consuming we'll put it that that way so what I've been doing is I've been taking a uh, slanted liner brush this one is from elf and I've been taking the darkest shade in the palette just because that's going to deposit, you know, the most amount of color fastest. And I've been using that. And then when I'm done with that, I set it with the medium shade of wax. And I use the little, the little spoolie that comes with the kit.
I'm just going to do one because this is very time consuming and not really all that interesting. <laughs> not to me anyway. So I just kind of fill it in with the powder. And then switch to that little spoolie brush and use the wax and brush through. So it, it blends it and sets it at the same time. So there's the difference. That one is done. That one is not. Okay, I'll do the other one off camera. All right, and for my lips, I'm going to do a plum lip, a deep plum lip, because I, I wanted to incorporate uh, deep plum in with the bronze and taupe eye look. So I'm going to start with a lip liner by Clinique. It's called the Quick Liner for Lips Intense and it's in the shade Intense Licorice. I have been doing so many matte lips lately that this today's lip is going to have a little bit of moisture and a little bit of shine to it. I like to go easy when I start getting near the corners. I like to go like really slow and go easy because lip liner can go horribly wrong when you get to the corners. <laughs> but you don't want to not put it there either because it could bleed if you don't. Okay, and you probably saw this coming a mile away. We're going to use Clinique Almost Lipstick in Black Honey. Classic, classic color. Anytime I'm looking for a plum, this is pretty much my go-to. So I didn't fill in my lips. I, I just pretty heavily lined them. Oh, I feel so good to use something moisturizing on my lips after doing matte, drying liquid lipsticks day after day. And I'm going over this a lot because I'm sort of blending the lip liner into it as I go. Okay, and even though we've got plenty of moisture going on here, I'm going to go all out and I'm also going to use Clinique Super Balm Moisturizing Gloss. And I don't want to take any chances of messing this up, so I'm going to use... A lip liner. This is just a L'Oreal lip, not lip liner, lip brush. Uh, I found this at a discount store and uh, it was pretty nice and the price was right. So this is a squeeze tube. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my lip brush. And 
and make this even more glossy. I found the um, Clinique Black Honey Lip Gloss Lipstick and Eyeliner as a kit at a CCO. And uh, they usually have that. Whenever I've gone to a CCO, I see that. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head how much it was, but it was definitely a lot cheaper than buying the products individually. But I probably wouldn't have purchased the lip gloss separately because I'm not really a gloss person but you know once in a while you just want to do something different but um yeah so CCO is slang for cosmetic company outlet and they usually have a uh, store like that at most outlet malls and uh, you can get Clinique and Mac and Smashbox and Tom Ford and brands like that at a discount so anyways, there, there's usually a black honey kit there by Clinique, just in case you're interested. Okay, so let's see if my hair is dry enough to be taken down. It's still kind of wet, but... So that is my bronze taupe eye look and a deep plum berry lip and uh, hope you like that and thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.